Well, hello there, Pokey people. Well, as you can see, uh, the background's different because I'm currently in my friend's apartment in Yokohama. Yotto! Um, I'm sitting on the floor because I don't want to move all the stuff off her sewing table to set up my camera. Meep! Anywho, today's video is just going to be about, well, shopping. So here's a little glimpse of the insanity at the Pokemon Center in Yokohama. Enjoy! So of course, can't go to the Pokemon Center without buying something. And I'm trying not to spend too much money while I'm here in Yokohama, but oof, you can see all my awesome pins here. I went ahead and got the Valor pin that you saw in the video, and they have gotcha machines. Master Ball quit turning upside down. They've gotcha machines of pins in different cities where you can get different Pikachu pins themed to the city. So this blue one over here is for Tokyo, it's the national diet, and this traffic one and this train one are for Yokohama, but um, yeah, they're cute. They don't really have anything to do with Yokohama that I can clearly see. And while I'm holding it here, let's zoom out and look at all my pretty pins. That's where my pin collection box pins went. Hooray! Sorry, I'm a bit tired after three days straight of walking almost 10 kilometers a day, so my brain's a bit loopy. Taking a day off of the Pokemon Go today. However, I still have a Valor towel. Um, this is called a muffler towel in Japan because scarves are called mufflers here. So it is quite a long, thin towel that doesn't fit easily on camera. 
But the purpose of it is to wear it around your neck and collect the sweat off your neck and face as you're walking around. So don't get too close to my nasty sweat towel. And because I'm me, I had to get a plushie. <laughs> this is probably the best Charizard plushie I've seen yet. Look at him. He's got little teeny tiny wings that remind me of Dragonite. Cute little flame tail. Adorable little stumpy legs and hands. And do you even see, like, he's got teeny tiny little fangs here? And just the grumpiest expression. Oh. And he's this, like, new popular mochi mochi kind of plush, so he's really soft and squishy. I just wish they had a giant huggable version of him. Da da! Well, that's my Pokemon Center merch. Next, let's have a look at Nakano Broadway. Roll the clip. There wasn't too much that was really amazing at uh, the Mandarake card shop in Nakano Broadway. I did pop into another card shop and bought one or two things. And, well, I'll just show you what I got. So, first up, um, I did get some individual cards. Nothing very, very special. I just was going for things that appeal to me, which is often what I do. Um, and really, my reasoning behind things is just silly. So, we have a Moltres card here. And I was really hoping, since I also found Zapdos, to get Articuno. But that was the one card they didn't have of the three birds. But, I'll keep looking. Maybe I will find an Articuno to go with them. And, of course, I've been trying to collect adorable Meowth. So, had to buy this cute Meowth. We have here, I believe, I'll know once I take the wrapping off of it, this is one of the vending machine um, Pokemon cards, so it just looks really shiny under there. And rare for Japanese cards, really off-center. I won all these SC cards, so grab this guy, not sure if I already have him or not. And then in my ongoing addiction to E-Series cards, I just grabbed some random ones I thought were cute. So we've got Ampharos, uh, another Meowth. Um, Team Rocket's Meowth, he's not an E-Series. Cute little Pikachu promo, cute little Totodile promo, and cute little Cyndaquil promo. And as you probably can guess, I wanted to get Chikorita, but they didn't have Chikorita to go with these guys. And I Impulse bought this. There's a really silly reason behind why I Impulse bought this. It was 100 yen. Very silly thing to buy. <laughs> but I did it. I wanted to get mystery bricks, but as you can see, they really didn't have any except for 
these ones, which are full of common and uncommon cards, to the best of my knowledge. Like, I can't see any sparkle on the sides here. But, as I crack this open, I'll tell you my funny little story of why I bought this impulsively. So, as I, I did my filming, and then I was hanging out in the store trying to decide what to buy, and pulled some cards out of the binders. Oh, this tape doesn't want to cooperate with me. And as I'm looking over what's left in the shop, trying to decide, okay, what do I want? What do I want? What's going to be fun to open for a video? Who should walk in but Unlisted Leaf? So I'm digging through stuff, and I hear this voice, and I'm like, I know that voice. I know exactly who that voice is. And turn around, and sure enough, there's Ando in the store, um, along with a friend. And I knew, like, okay, I need to say hi and get a picture with this guy, but I need to, like deal with my purchase first, figure out what I'm buying, and purchase it. And he's got his camera out filming the exact same stuff I just finished filming. So I didn't want to, like, interrupt him when he's got the camera out. And I just kind of bought whatever was in my hands so I could get out of the way and, you know, let him do his filming and then hopefully grab him for a photo after. Um, did manage to grab him for a photo in the hallway, which was cool. He's really nice in person. Um, obviously way more chill than he is when he's reacting to things in his videos. But, yeah, I impulse bought this because Ando walked into the store that I was in and my brain stopped functioning because I was like, whoa, that's a really successful YouTuber. Alright, so this is a little awkward because I'm sitting on the floor so I can't really look at my viewfinder and the cards at the same time. So I'm going to look at the cards. If they get off frame, I'm sorry. So obviously here we've got a... Um, first edition polywag and everything's going which way here so let's just see what we got all right we got a sun and moon lantern a oh hey magnazone let's go through this a little faster because this is going to be a long video ooh that looks like a vending machine card cuz it's really glossy uh, brock has a lick of tongue apparently Gulduck, sun and moon cards are not so exciting sun and moon again what have i got here Oh, hey, a Geodude. What? I'm assuming that's a Pidget. I want to see what the full artwork looks like. Hey, another Lantern. They really like Lantern in this brick. Stuffle. Um, Bird. Uh, wow. Bakurai is his Japanese name. Is he that green color normally? I feel like he isn't. Um, don't know your name, buddy. Sorry. Hey, Base Set Sanshru. Um, Pancham some Team Rocket energy, and a... Wow! That is one beat-up card! I don't know if you can see how faded that is there. And uh, the looking at the back, holy cow! Yeah, the bricks at Mandarake now, all the um, super fancy bricks full of holo cards are gone. I'm pretty sure after Ando and Max's videos, everybody got wind of it, and it seems like they've been completely bought out and I think, ooh, oh, he's so scratched, why, why did they get, oh, sad, but still cute. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I think once people got wind of the mystery bricks full of hollows and they became popular, someone went and bought them all out and they've been resold on eBay. Plus people are making their own and claiming that they're Mandarake bricks and selling them. So, yeah, beware anything you see that says it's a Mandarake hollow brick because they're gone. They don't exist. Um, it's funny, I actually mentioned that to Ando when I met him and he was like, yeah, I think we might have ruined it for everybody. And it's like, nah. I mean, people are bound to find out the secret of Nakano Broadway sooner or later. I actually thought the card was meant to be that way for a second. Um, but, you know, you can still go and get common and uncommon bricks like this, or that sometimes have damaged rare cards in them. Uh, <laughs> you're just not going to find those big bricks of hollows that they don't know what to do with anymore because the demand is there and yeah people are buying them up okay so of course this is all pretty basic stuff it doesn't even look like they really tried to sort through it that well which is not surprising when I was in the store I could see behind the register they just had like a box just full of cards tossed in willy-nilly no attempt to organize or sort them whatsoever so I think they just grab a bunch maybe weigh them or count them and then slap them in plastic because yeah the fact that these aren't even all upside down or right way up 
Like, what is happening here? Hey, Politoed, Reggie Ice, Orcorio. I was hoping maybe there'd be a chance of getting some E-Series cards in here. I tried to pick the one that looked like it had the most yellow on the edges. Oh, that's really cute, the little Porygon. Um, ooh, that looks like a vending machine, you two. What do you guys think? It's so shiny. Well, not really shiny. Glossy is, I think, the word I want to use here. Oh, more Portigon. More Portigons. I would like to buy more stuff while I'm here, but I was very, very silly and budgeted quite well, except for getting to include food and transportation in my budgeting. So, um, this is really the only shopping I'm doing this trip. If I can eat cheap for the rest of the trip, I might buy one more souvenir from Yokohama before I leave just to be like, hey, I was at the awesome Pikachu event and all I got was a sweat towel. Oh, that's cool. Nice, uh, hollow cabigon Snorlax. Let's see, what have we got here? Geodude. Oh, hey, Dialga. Well, that's pretty cool. We got an EX. That's not bad. <laughs> Really wasn't expecting much. This was a 900 yen brick, um, which is a little expensive for something that's mostly full of commons and a lot of the cards aren't in the best condition. But, I mean, like any mystery brick, it's a gamble. You never know. You might get something really exciting and worthwhile in it. Um, like, hey, that's pretty exciting. What are we? What are we? Eh? Food... Foodine? Well, we know... Eh, maybe it's like Houdini. Houdin. <laughs> I never noticed that before. Anyway, that's a Team Rockets Alakazam Hollow. That's not in bad shape either. Cool. Um, and we've got a Hypno. I was about to call him Drowsy, and I'm like, no, that's not his name. That's not his name. His Japanese name is Sleepa. So yeah, you get some cool things in here. Nothing too, too exciting, but that's okay. I wasn't expecting a lot. Um, getting a lot of sand shrews in here. Oh, we got some old, old cards. Hey now, what's... Um, okay. <laughs> I'll have to figure out what that says later. Hey! Base set hollow Nido King. And that's really off-center too. I didn't know that the older Japanese cards had those problems that we're so used to seeing on the American cards. Alright, drowsy on a beach. Hey! It's a... Victini from CP5. Cool. That's one of the sets that I kind of want to get, but a lot of those CP sets are quite expensive. Oh, War Turtle, hey! A very curvy Zapdos, but it's CP6, so that's, you know, nothing too special. Base set Oddish. Oh! Alright, we got a base set Team Rocket. Well, Team Rocket set. Uh, Rainbow Energy. That's pretty cool. And hey now! That's that. Wow! Well, this is getting really long, but since I was in the shops buying things, I did stop in one other card shop and just picked up two cards. Um, let's just tear this bag open. One of them was a card that I need... Oh, I picked up three cards, actually. I lied. <laughs> so, I needed this one for CP6. I still haven't completed the set. And that was about... The price is about in line with what I've paid online. Um, I saw this Team Rockets Mewtwo and just thought that's really cool, so I grabbed it, and a Battle Fest uh, Pikachu. I, this is the one with Gengar and Sylveon on the background, Lucario, Pancham. Really cool card. I don't know if that is a good price for it or not, but I don't think I expect to see the Battle Fest cards for anything cheap, so I was quite happy about this, and it looks to be in good shape. So last little purchase I made, Pokemon related. Um, this isn't what I purchased while I got to Yokohama, but I've been collecting these cute little figures from different places. So we have, from the left, Kyoto, um, Tokyo, Pikachu on Tokyo Tower, Shiga, of course he's dressed as Tanuki, Nagoya, and Nara. So to add to my cute little collection of charms, I went ahead and got, da -dum, another Nyauth. So we have this cute little Yokohama Nyauth who's holding a Chinese dumpling. But he's cute, and he'll fit in with the others, so I'll just have to alternate, so it's Pikachu Nyauth, Pikachu Nyauth. Well, 
that's that for today's video. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to try and upload some footage of all the cute Pikachu stuff that I've been seeing in the next couple days. Um, I'm not used to doing vlog type stuff, so editing is taking me a long time. Very sorry about that. I will try to speed my process up. Anywho, thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and oh, before I forget, if you've ever been curious to know what I look like, go to my Twitter down below, and you can find, in the last few days, a picture from when I met Ando on Listed Leaf. So, that's that. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye. I miss my glasses.